Hello Aces, welcome back to module one, lesson six. This is your final lesson of this module and today we're gonna to be talking about how do you craft your master blueprint so then that way it becomes the roadmap to reach your dream restaurant. It gives you the roadmap by us defining this to create that dream food and beverage of yours. Now, your master blueprint is made up of goals. Goals become actions and actions becomes results. So without us setting goals, it is difficult for us to plan for any type of success, which is why it's super, super important. It also gives you the clarity and the direction of what you need to prioritize on, what you need to do, and how you're gonna be able to get there. Just imagine you being thrown in the middle of the ocean telling you to swim ashore. If you don't have any direction whatsoever, you're gonna be swimming aimlessly for days without knowing where the line is. As much as this might sound like a cliche, it is something that it works, it's something that I personally practice, and which is the reason why it becomes a cliche, because it works. A lot of people talk about it, but not a lot of people execute on it. So I really highly recommend you to definitely follow through with this just because it works. <clears throat> There are two types of goals that we're gonna be setting today. The first one is stretch goals. The second one is smart goals. What are stretch goals? Stretch goals are goals that seem unattainable and seem that it's just not doable with the current resources and the current knowledge that you currently have. But these are great goals that you set out in the future it makes you think about something that is outside of your comfort zone, something that is bigger than what you can actually dream of. For example, doubling the sales of my restaurant right now. I have no idea how I'm gonna get there, but that is an amazing goal. I think that is something that potentially be achievable. That becomes your stretch goal. Now, SMART goal is something that is way down to earth. It is something that is specific. It is measurable. It is attainable. It is relevant and it is timely. We need to make sure that all the goals that we set as a SMART goal adheres to these five rules because if it doesn't, it is not SMART. It is not something that we can take as an action to closer to our stretch goals. This gives you the clarity and a plan of action that makes stretch goals become a reality. So the stretch goal is the stuff that is up here is like, you know what, like it's fluffy but the smart goals are down to earth. It is something that you can actually see whether you have hit it or not. There are clear measures in place. These are just consider these as like the stepping stone for you to achieve your stretch goals. It is practical, realistic, time bound, and it helps you avoid creating goals that are basically impossible. So it basically breaks down this stretch goal, this huge mountain that you're trying to conquer into small bite-sized steps. That's the whole point of us doing stretch and smart goals. So an example of a stretch goal for you is that I wanna double sales for my restaurant. Right now I'm making $50,000 a month. I wanna double that to $100,000. How do we do that? I have no clue, but it's okay. That's my stretch goal. Smart goal, on the other hand, it's once again, it is specific, it is measurable, it is attainable and it is relevant and time bound, okay? So increase quarter three sales by 5%. How are we gonna get there? By partnering up with delivery services, launching a loyalty program and a happy hour menu. So I'm providing a timely response and these measurable goals. So then that way you can say to yourself whether you have achieved it or not. So now it is time for you to identify your stretch goal. Go into the link below, download the worksheet and follow it step by step as we go through this module. What are your SMART goals? Once again, download it within that worksheet and so then that way we can work through it together. How do you measure your SMART stretch goals? Short term, we're gonna review this and adjust it on a monthly basis. Medium term, we review and adjust it monthly and quarterly. Long term, we check the alignment of it ongoing and yearly. It is important for us to set goals, 
but also to actually always go back to it and to visit it to see if we're any closer or if the strategy needs to change because all these things that we're setting out and that we think we can do are assumptions. We need to go back out into the marketplace to see if we can validate and if these strategies work. And if it doesn't, then we need to pivot. That's the reason why we need to revisit our stretch goals on a yearly, quarterly, and monthly basis. I'll give you an example of measuring your stretch goals. So on the long-term basis, two to five years, let's say, our SMART goal is for our online delivery to increase number of orders by 40%. So in that way, we can double up our sales. We want online delivery to account for more than 40%. On top of that, we wanna make our happy hour the best in the city by working with PR, influencers, and bloggers to spread the message beyond catering to office workers and fill up slow hours by more than 80%. We are very specific in the strategy that we're offering so then that way we can try it out we can test it out and if it doesn't work we can adjust it right away but these must be smart goals it must be something that's measurable it must be something that's timely and it must be something that is attainable so then that way we can have the motivation to go and achieve these goals same thing of when you're telling your staff, when you're motivating and inspiring your staff, you need to give them smart goals where you can measure their performance. And the third goal is to increase monthly re customer return rate of 12% on our loyalty program and increase average order value by $5 through timely promotions. Once again, all these goals would add up and stack into doubling our restaurant's sales by, um, by, by more than 100%. So that's a long-term goal that every year we can come back to this, see if we're one step closer or are we just diverging from it. Now next, the short-term ones, the 90-day goals, to launch a completely new menu just for delivery with all signed food delivery services by the end of the quarter. So as we are breaking down the goals, as we come, our, our deadline and duration becomes smaller and smaller, we need to make sure that the strategy, the outcomes, the timeliness needs to adhere to the duration that we're setting it. If if we're if we're talking about doubling our sales in 90 days, that's just unrealistic. And if it's not uh, realistic, if it's not timely, then it really defeats the purpose of us setting these goals. We set these goals in a timely environment, so then that way we can take steps to achieve it. There's no way if I were to tell you, I'm like, hey, you know what? You need to conquer uh, the Himalaya Himalayas tomorrow. It's impossible. Why? you're not setting yourself up for success, then it just defeats everything, defeats your momentum, defeats every effort that you put in. And that's the reason why we need to sm set smart goals that are attainable. 30 day goal, to sign on a food delivery deal with Uber Eats, Fedora, Skip the Dish by the end of the month, to complete research on all the restaurants and have a happy hour in a three kilometer radius um, and the offerings by the end of the month. So we're breaking it down step by step. And as we complete these goals, we can set new goals in order for us to attain the, sh the 90 day goals in order for us to attain the yearly goals. So this is the way that we're inching forward to achieve that stretch goals of, of ours. And once again, if you want to, you can pause this slide. So then that way you can actually check out the examples. Now it is your turn to set your and identify your stretch goals and your smart goals. Once again, I cannot emphasize how important this is. If you don't set goals and if you're just out there creating your restaurant, you're basically just throwing yourself in the middle of the ocean, trying to swim to nowhere. That's the reason why you need to set goals, make them measurable. So then that way you know whether you're closer to success or you're off the mark and you can pivot, adjust and go ahead again. Make sure you go into the link below, download the worksheet. So then that way you can follow it step by step. Your master blueprint helps you make your dream to become a reality. So make sure that you guys actually do that. And in today's lesson, we talked about how do you create that master blueprint. And this becomes your blueprint that you can share with your team, your partners, investors, even your employees. Super crucial. So I really hope that you actually spend some time in this lesson. Next up, we're going to be talking about how do you pinpoint your restaurant business type with the golden trifecta. This is module two. We're shifting gears into module two now. So I'll see you guys in the next lesson.